<laughs> Welcome back to Let's Talk News Now. Lester Collins here with the women. <laughs> Rick's uh, getting Yay. the t-shirt on, and while I've got you two alone and you folks, I wanted to talk about oh, a script, Collins. because Rick... <laughs> Well, I, I, on TV. Right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Where is Rick anyway? Like, no, no. He uh, went to get a shirt. I wanted oh, to okay. talk about a script because I'm trying to Will promote you? a script right now, and we've got a few minutes, and I've read scripts my entire life, and it's the best script I've ever read. And I wanted to talk about it because it's really good. Oh, here comes Rick. Oh. <sighs> hey, Rick, we were just talking hey, about guys. politics. and yeah, I just turned around. Like, go get... <laughs> By the way, I have something else. I'm just going to throw this in here. Okay, everybody go. get your script, right? Hey, check this out. Okay, you were wearing them segment one. I'm loving them segment four. This is good. <laughs> yeah, you, you can pick out my designs. You know, like, it brings glasses. out a different look for each of us. We have two more. It fits perfectly. I'm not. That. <laughs> okay, so script. Sc script. Okay, the script. Okay, let me just give you the first line of the movie and see if you're not interested. At 12 years old, I watched my father kill a man. That's how it starts, and it starts in 1958. And it turns the whole life, it's kind of like a whirlwind approach to the life of this guy who was a normal guy. He mm -hmm. ended up producing television shows. Okay. And it's based on true events, but because of his upbringing, his father was a Jewish gangster in New York City. His mother was a Catholic, alcoholic mother. It was wow. a terrible upbringing. Drama. Right out of college, they recruited him through the government. So he did special assignments for the government through Vietnam, through Iran when he was doing assignments, but it's kind of told in a tale that's like a, a Goodfellas or something. I was just gonna say, I think it, you know, something that's immediately intriguing. Mm. And as soon as you said, you know, 12 years of age, I, you know what I immediately thought of? I immediately thought of, what was the movie with Tom Hanks? That, um, where he was, um... Forrest Gump? No, yeah, that was <laughs> Forrest. No, it'll, it'll come to me, it'll come to me, about the uh, same type of thing where he worked for, the, worked for the mob. You know, I didn't see it, but I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. But it's it just such a compelling story, and the way he wrote it, it's so interesting, because the guy is such a self-deprecating guy. You know, it's just a thing he does. I hey, I've it. got to run out real, right, real fast. I'm so where so are you at with the process? Now, I, mean, I would even assume, because of your background, and having been intelligent for so long, and this is what, one of the things is that it's so interesting. People that see folks in television, they just think it just immediately happens. Your background, <laughs> your connections, your agents, all the people you've been working with for so many years. And now you've got a great script. And you still have to go through the same process. The thing is, I've never approached anybody. And I've known people who've run studios. I've worked for them because as an actor, you always had jobs. Sure. Uh, you know, I've never approached them because I've never had anything worthwhile. And now I'm going to approach them. Mm -hmm. well, so, and I think that'll you, give me credibility too. Exactly, right. you, you know. think that way, as You're opposed not that to just going. every single <laughs> yeah. time, and then they're like, you I know like what, it. just close the door on him. No, and, and I've read scripts seriously, because I used to read scripts for a guy who made decisions. Okay, this is what it's about. Here, read this one, you know. Right. Mm -hmm. And if somebody reads the first three pages, they're not going to stop. It's that good. Yeah. You know, I, you know so it, just knock on wood. The next step is just get somebody to back it with us. Um, really, we could produce and direct it ourselves. You know. Once you, when you, here's something again for our audience that are watching, they don't always understand this business that we call the entertainment business, television, whether it's television or movies or, or live entertainment, mm -hmm. is really the process that it goes through. Because once you get to that, then how long will you be in pre production? No, honestly, you know, this sketching is something it all that I think somebody will jump on real quick, and I think that it'll be something that within a year you'll have it out. I really think it's wow. that quick. Oh, wow, you think you can crank this out in a year? Yeah, I think once people see it, it's, there's, there's attitudes. by the way, folks, that's fast. That's really fast well, there's in, attitudes. in movie land. You gotta go in like, I'm actually doing you a favor by showing this to you. I've never bothered you before, but this is that good. Mm -hmm. And, you know, my credibility is on the line, too. I let you read it. You haven't read it yet, because I sent it to you at 2 in the morning, I think. That's true, you <laughs> did. You said, actually, you sent me the first 10 pages, which is another thing. You don't, in, in putting out scripts and so on, you don't send whole manuscripts. You get mm -hmm. people to get a taste for it until they get right. things, yeah. get things ah, wrong. So the rookie mistake is sending out manuscripts. The whole thing. Yeah, she sent me. No, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I did. <laughs> it was terrible. No, it, it was not terrible. Good story. Very terrible yeah. writing, though. Oh, exactly. <laughs> oh, 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 formatically. You know That's formatic. exactly what I said. I was like, there's the story Brilliant there. Brilliant creativity. <laughs> yeah, it's too much going on in your mind, isn't there? <laughs> and Angela, what you're doing right now is you are writing. Right. And you're, you've always been a writer, and you mm -hmm. and for people who don't know you as well as I think they should, quite <laughs> frankly, because I think you're absolutely marvelous, is that your kind of claim to fame on a national level mm -hmm. 
was being involved with Jody's Law. Right. Okay. And now you are working with VegasNewsReview.com, mm -hmm. uh, amongst many other things that you write <laughs> for. But um, the, some of the stories and so on you've written about. Mm -hmm. We have a, uh, I believe his name is Marcus. Marcus Mitchell, yes. Marcus Mitchell. And he is all about pay it forward. Yes. Oh, Correct? Yeah. And so he's, and I know he's going to be joining us next week, or right. not next week, joins tomorrow. Right. On tomorrow's show. Uh -huh. So absolutely fantastic. Incredible man. Okay. Incredible man. If you want to know more about uh, Angela and her writings, <laughs> it's very, very simple. You go to VegasNewsReview.com. Make sure that you get read her articles. And by the way, you know, like Vegas News Review on I Facebook. I saw the headlines. Isn't it great? I haven't read it yet, but it was wonderful, the headlines. It was absolutely <laughs> fantastic. It's just, I, I saw it for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it is, in fact, Memorial Day weekend. I want everyone to enjoy themselves, be safe, and we will see you again tomorrow on Let's Talk News Now. Nice t-shirt.